you guys asked for it and you got it. Today we have the big 7.3 liter gas V8 engine versus the Ike Gauntlet, world's toughest towing test. Yes, finally the 7.3 Godzilla going up the hill pulling 16,000 pounds of horse trailer. In the tunnel, we've been in the tunnel a while. And this is the downhill portion in the big 7.3, of course, with the 430. Yes, and a 10 speed. So exciting, we're trying to come out of the tunnel at 50. And guys, always on the downhill, we count the brake applications and we leave the truck in basically drive mode with grade shifting. Right, yeah, we're in tow haul mode, we're doing good. Yeah, and we go between 50 and 60 miles an hour, 60 is the speed limit, and we want to compare this truck to the other trucks in the segment, specifically the Chevy 2500 Heavy Duty with a gas V8. And this high gauntlet run is also part of our 2020 Gold Hitch Towing Award series, which means we compare trucks in each weight category against each other with the same trailer and weight. In this case, we're doing three quarter ton trucks. And you can go to tfltruck.com and check competition like the Chevrolet Heavy Duty. And of course we're using the same test traders we use on these other trucks. I and mean, this is the North Star by Cimarron Trailers. We got it from our friends at Transwest Truck Trader RV. Look below for the link to their website. But this is a 40 foot trader, a four horse aluminum slant with an outlaw conversion living quarters. But for the weight in the back, we changed it a little this time. This time is 3,600 pounds of bricks. You know why I changed it? Because you're just that kind of a guy. No, because it's really freezing out here on the mountain in the winter. I didn't want the water to freeze. And also it kind of saves time, you know, uh, with a forklift. What gear are you in? I am in fourth. Well, that's good. It's yeah, already helping us. 4,500 RPMs. So as soon as it clicks 61, then you bring it back down. Yeah. Oh, there we no. go, 61. So that's one brake application. Yes, I'm gonna be counting them. And the truck we're using today is a crew cab four wheel drive with a standard bed, six and three quarter foot. And it's a Lariat with several additional options, but it takes the price to over $64,000 as tested. And the payload rating on this particular truck is 2,976 pounds. And the maximum gooseneck fifth wheel tow rating is over 18,000 pounds. And actually I cannot tell you exactly what the tow rating is because I checked several different spreadsheets that Ford gave us and they all say a little bit different specification, but I know it's over 18,000. So we towed the exact same trailer with the Chevy 2500. That's right. Uh, same weight. How many brake applications did it do? 10 brake applications. 10, that's yes. quite a bit, and that's a six speed. That was a six speed and yes. a six six gas. Is that the new engine? Yeah. So we're at three brake applications? So far three, yes. Three. But it's really interesting, it's staying in the same gear, is that right? It is, it's in fourth. It's still in fourth. This is a large displacement gas engine, but it actually looks small under this hood. Yeah, that's old school push rod and, and port injection. Look at this big snorkel. This has got a big air box. You can actually see the air filter in there. It yeah, really so must suck the air. It needs a lot of air, that big of an engine. Power rating is 430 horsepower and 475 pound-feet of torque. And what about the transmission? It's a 10 speed. Yes. And we're pulling actually a 430, so we're really made for the power on this truck. It's got the maximum toy capacity of this truck. You know, they did an overlay electric motor like what the RVs used years ago and are still using. And that really changes the whole dynamics of the steering. It's tighter, it's like a rack and pinion, but it changes it like 40 miles an hour and above and below. So it, it self adapts. It is so cool and it really makes it easier driving these big rigs like this with a big trailer. I, I thought it was great. All right, I think we have to call it. We're done. Yeah, we're at 51 miles an hour and we're pretty well leveled out. So we beat it by one, huh? Yeah, so nine <laughs> brake applications in the big 7.3 with this towing rear end. There it 61. goes. 10 brake applications. Ugh, yeah. 
Okay, well, I think I kind of expected this result. Get ready to reset and hit it. We're there. Oh, yeah. Oh, hear the thunder, that V8. Whoa. So this is the world's toughest towing test. And that's because we're going to over 11,000 feet above sea level. There is less air density, less power the engine can make. 7% great, eight mile run. So here's the time we're trying to beat. The Chevrolet did the same run with the same trailer in 11 minutes and 53 seconds, and it had a 2.4 MPG result according to the trip meter. Yeah. So let's see how much, the, you know, what the time will be here. I'm guessing it could be a little bit quicker. I would hope so with more power and 10 speeds, but I bet the fuel mileage will be about the same is what I'm guessing. Well, this is that new optional running board for 2020. What's cool about it is it's got uh, like an air dam on the back of it. You know, you've seen semis with the skirts underneath the bellies, and that's all about fuel mileage. Well, this here could get you up to a mile of the gallon, according to Ford. And then on the front, it has an air dam. I think it's about two inches deeper. It's a lot deeper. All these things are doing for fuel mileage, which, you know, it helps. Every little bit helps. But it does look like a snowplow on the front of this. But anyway, we'll get used to it. For the 2020 Gold Hitch competition, the towing award, for the heavy duty trucks, we're using slightly different benchmarks than we use for half tons. Okay. So it's a 10 minute benchmark on the way up and a four MPG benchmark for fuel economy. And we do that because for 2020 and on, the tow ratings the capacity, are getting heavier. Yeah, we're getting higher capacity. And it's harder and harder to uh, run up this mountain. So we, we're changing our benchmarks. Yeah. These towing mirrors on Ford, they keep getting better. You know, they were the first ones to be powered telescope, power fold. And now watch this. That cool, I locked the truck, the mirrors fold in. So now nobody's gonna be banging on my mirror from their little squatty potty car. I love it. This truck is also equipped with a 12 pin connector here in the back. You can plug in trailer cameras or yaw sensor for your backup assist system or tire pressure monitor systems for your trailer. And stopping the clock now. What's the fuel economy? 2.2. 2.2, and that's eight minutes and 42 seconds. That's quite a bit better than the Silverado, isn't it? Yeah, 11 minutes that truck did, 11.50. Wow. So, guys, this is quite remarkable how this engine performed with the uh, 430 rear end. Yeah. We hit a little bit of traffic here, well, uh, the just at the very end. We've been doing this test for over six years. Yeah. And we always use the same scoring system, 100 points maximum. 75% of that score is actually objective on the mountain, but 25 is subjective. So you and I get to use our points right now. And we have five categories. We have mirrors, interior comfort, technology for towing, squat, and handling on the highway. For my subjective score, I took off a couple of points for interior. It's good overall, but it hasn't changed much from the previous year. It was an updated truck, but they didn't update the interior that much. The rest of the truck I'm very happy with, but I'm gonna take off an extra point for squat. I think four inches of squat is a little bit too much, even with maximum payload. I would wanna see a little bit more support there. But overall, I give it 22 points, which is usually a really high score. Of course, we're always in the snow doing the Ike Gauntlet. That's just how it works out. But there's so many things like about it. If you go into like the handling, this has that new system for steering, the overlay electrical motor. Handles like rack and pinion. I mean, that's beautiful. Best I've ever seen a Ford truck do. That's five. And for technology, I mean, look at what it's got. It's got a push button tailgate that drops. It's got mirrors that fold in under your clicker. Put the brake controller where it's supposed to be above that little knob that's the pro backup assist. And the 150, it's below that, so it's hard to see. The interior is not such a big deal to me. I mean, yeah, but they updated everything else. It's important, so I'm not going to criticize it there too much. This and the Silverado both squatted four inches, which I think is too much for any of them. But you add that all up, I'm only taking off three points. So I'm at 22 also, 
which we never have the same score. You're always higher than What me. is going on here? I don't know. I mean, I really like the truck. I mean, that's got to be one of the better scores we've had in a while. All right, well, let's add everything up. The downhill performance, the uphill, and the score. I, I want to trade hats, man. My ears are froze. <laughs> what? You look like a turtle. <laughs> oh, well, I feel like a frozen duck. Guys, I'm very surprised because the score for the Godzilla V8 truck is actually one of the highest scores we've ever awarded any truck. The final score after adding up the speed, how fast the truck was up the mountain, the downhill performance, which wasn't that great actually. No, it wasn't exceptional. Total score is 94.5 points. Now that's exceptional, that's a very good score. That's insane. Yeah. Since we're using a 10 minute benchmark on the way up the mountain, and this Ford was faster than that, it gained a few points because of that. And the Chevy Silverado 2500 heavy duty truck we tested a couple of months ago was much slower. That was a big point loss for that truck. If you want to know exact point calculations, please go back to tfltruck.com. That is currently a class leading score and guys go back to tfltruck.com for more news views and real world reviews and where else? MrTruck.com, bring your own heater. Frozen Truck. Oh, yeah, frozentruck.com. Oh.